you use financial reporting and telemetry and have an interest in auditing, let me show you what we are cooking on for the 2025 release wave one. Here on the finance, on the financial reporting, I have uh, some different reports. And let me just create a new one. Let's say uh, cooking, cooking demo report for financial reporting. We all do that. Let's pick a row definition, a column definition. I love this BPDRCREB. It's amazing. There you go. And we are done. So I have not now created a new report. And um, let me just do a change to my report. Maybe I want to change my row definition. Actually, I want to create a new row definition. Let's call it cook. And this is a cooking row definition. Okay. And here's my cooking. And I would, I might also want to do a column definition just for fun. So let me just add a new column. Let's say cooking, uh, cooking show. So let's call it a cooking show column. And you kind of get the idea. I have created a report. I created to row def a column row definition. And maybe I want to change the report to uh, something else. Let me just uh, do that. Edit report definition. Change this to cooking demo 2. There we go. And it has been saved. All good. So these are all changes to financial reporting. Why? Like what's going on with telemetry? Well, let me, because I did turn on telemetry for this environment. Let's switch to application insights and run a little query. All right, so here in Application Insights, I wrote a little custom query. We take traces from the last day. I'm filtering on my own user telemetry ID. This GUID is safe. You can't hack me with this. This is just a GUID from my test environment. So relax. Uh, take the latest events first, and then we project timestamp, message event ID, and some custom dimensions, and we take the first 100. Let's Let's run this and see what's cooking here. Ooh, look, we have, if I just scroll back a little bit in time, here we go. So you see we have an event, financial report created, where we lock the report definition code. I also did a modification. Then I have telemetry for the creation of report row definitions with this event and if I scroll here to the to the right you can see that we have the row definition code locked there and also similar lifecycle events for creating column definitions with the column definition def definition code and so on and if I had done it a little bit more in, in the demo like modifying a row or column definition you would have seen that deleting a row column or report definition, you would have seen that. And even running a financial report, you would also see the usage telemetry now here in version 2025, release wave one. Pretty cool, eh?